we're getting ready to pack up a, a set of china and we're going to be using a box called a dish pack. It has an extra thick wall. It's just perfect for uh, china and, um, and uh, dishware. And really, if we're moving to a small community, we might just pack using the smaller boxes because they're easier to move. But if the people are going on a long distance move, we will for sure pack everything into um, a dish pack. So we have the dish pack all set up. We have four bumpers on the bottom. We already showed you how to do that. And so we're going to get started. Um, the first thing we would like to pack are the plates. So I'm going to bring over a stack of plates. I'm going to put one plate on a piece of paper, fold over my first piece of newsprint, then I'm going to put the second plate on top and fold over the next piece of newsprint, the third plate, and then the fourth plate. I'm going to wrap all of those up together in a nice little bundle. I'm going to take them just like this with the bottom of the plate to the outside of the box and I'm going to slide them right in. <clears throat> we'll continue packing if we had eight or 12 plates. We would just continue packing that size and line them up in the bottom of the box. Today, we're going to switch to a different uh, type of plate. We're going to pack them just about the same way. Whoops, that piece tore a little bit. Okay. You just want to make sure that the plates aren't um, touching each other. And these are sort of like salad plates, or um, you could probably have some soup in them too. those up in a nice bundle and we're going to put those right next to our other plates that we just packed. You want to have them snug up against each other. There's plenty of cushion in between. Okay and now we're going to move on to our bowls. Bowls we're going to do just a little bit differently. Um, and depending on the type of china it is, if this was a very um, expensive uh, heirloom china, we would be using more than one sheet of paper in between. <laughs> but for, day, for today's purposes, um, we have some everyday stoneware. Um, one piece is sufficient for that. Snug those right up against those plates. All right, and we're going to quickly do those last two bowls. It just works better not to have four in a stack with the bowls. But make sure when you put it in the box, you put the bottom of the bowl into the inside of the other bowl that's already in the box. Then we have a larger bowl, and I'm going to use a couple pieces of paper to wrap that. We're only going to be wrapping one piece, one piece at a time. And I'm going to come over here, I'm going to try it right over here next to these plates, but it's just a little bit too wide for that. So I think I might just turn it sideways in the box. Like I said, sometimes you just have to look at the pieces that you're packing, and it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Fit, figure out how they're going to fit in there the best way they can to keep everything safe. We'll do some saucers. We're going to wrap it just like we did those plates. Four together. You know, we're going to place those in the box right here next to these, um, right here next to these bowls. Okay. And how about some cups? Do 
do something a little, uh, I'm gonna try something a little different here with the cups. If you look closely, I have one going one direction with a piece of paper in between and the other one going the other direction. are really great for the bottom of the box, laying on its side, and then we're just going to fill in with uh, some of these other pieces to fill the bottom of the box. Once it's filled, we are going to uh, make a layer of bumpers, and I just wanted to mention that sometimes we have some gently used paper that we use for the bumpers. Or, at times, we have some leftover of this brown craft paper and we can put those um, as bumpers also. 